everybody and welcome back to Blink Dream! Now, I really like the game. I, um, I thought it was gonna be a little bit more dramatic. Um, I'm still not sure about the story, but hey, hopefully I can end it in this episode. Um, so, you know, I, I don't like having, um, to dwell on videos. I know the only one that I, that is definitely going to be dwelling on is Seduce Me. Because there's so many stories to that one. Um, like, there's the five guys in that one. There's this friends. And then there's this woman. Um, I completely... If you guys watch my video, I completely... Sk uh, I had done it... I had done a second video for that one. And I completely skipped over her second. Her Hers because she was just the weirdest. Um... I mean, I didn't feel, really feel like reading it because I didn't want to feel all weird and stuff. But whatever. So I'm going to continue this story anyway because this has nothing to do with sedu seduce me uh, to Ottoman. Now this is a different time. I had to go back in because my file got deleted. Yeah. Alright. <clears throat> Oh yeah, we have a silver key now. So there's only, if I recall, there's only one silver key door, which is this one. Oh, is there something wrong with these? I'm gonna check them all just in case. Oh! Oh! Experience the fifth mystery. I did something? I promise I haven't gotten this far yet. Shit. The sixth mystery is the forgotten classroom. There's a room with an entrance that can't be seen. I heard it's somewhere around the bathrooms, but I'm not interested enough to look myself. Alright, so I have to go to the bathrooms at some point. Have you seen a walking statue? Wow, I flipped those words. Have you seen a statue walking in the halls? The first mystery is called the moving statue. Plenty have seen the statue itself, but nobody's ever seen it move. Man, if I found it, I'd give it a good kick. Okay, so I had to kick a statue. Weren't you just in the other- you know what, let me go back. Is she not there anymore? Does she move? She- no, sh no? I'll try it one more time. No, she just doesn't move. Alright. Let's go to this one first. Are those all the famous pianists? A portrait of a familiar person. He says nothing, staring into space. A portrait of a familiar person. He says nothing, stares into space. Says in space. <laughs> All right. Oh wait, I had to think about at least what I'm supposed to do here. A piano. In contrast to the dusty room, there's no stain on it. Oh. I probably had to get music sheets for it. And the only reason why I'm saying music sheets because that's the only way to actually. Fuck. It's the only way to play a piano. You have to have a music sheet, so that's probably that guy probably wants to hear music. Save here. Oh, she does move. Oh, great! This is gonna be lovely. Can I click on that? Some kind of certificate certificate on display. Nothing. All right. Oh, 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 ow, my ears. Experience the second mystery. Fuck you, second mystery. That was me. Oh, hey. You're here. A bronze old man. Can I knife it? Sure enough, it doesn't make it strong. Can I kick it? Oh, hammer. It echoed nicely. Haha. <laughs> Experience the first mystery. Okay. Wow. I'm doing things, guys. Aren't you proud of me? It won't open. It's a locked by a mysterious, mysterious forest, not a lock. What's this? 
The seventh Mr. Oh. Maybe I have to get all of them, and then I can come back to that store. Who will personally witness mysterious mysteries one to six? Be led to yeah, I have to get one to six. Well, I got a couple of them. Let's go here. The fourth mystery is Maika My Makiko of the toilet. Do you know of it? No. And the girls' bathroom, if you knock there three times on the far left door and say, Makiko, Makiko, she'll come out. I'm not going to try it, though. Oh, uh, I don't want to try that. That sounds fun. Ah! That sounds fucking creepy. Who the fuck does this? Well, I mean, we have Bloody Mary, so... You have seen three of the seven mysteries, miss. Are these illusions or embodiments of attachment? Oh, wait! They've already told me the three. Okay, so the piano one, which... I'm like dead set on it being music sheets. The mysterious room and the bathroom. And the mysterious room is somewhere near the bathroom. Now I don't know how to obtain. The fifth mystery, there's a single cursed shoe. Oh, I already did that one. Good. Oh wait. Female, I'm a girl. The sink is stained with red like oh they said far left, right? Not twice. Or was it like I think I fucked up. There was no response. Yeah, it's three times. Whoops. Alright. Um. Mashira opened the door, but the no one was inside. Oh, you fucking- Oh, hi. <laughs> oh, God. My inner turd. Experience the fourth mystery. Well, oh, fuck your fourth mystery. Alright. They said there's a door around here. Maybe I got. Oh. Whoops. Experience the sixth mystery. Hey, there's papers on the ground. Let's get our stack of papers with music notes on it. Oh my god, I did them all! Oh, guys, are you proud of me? I didn't fuck up! I feel like I'm about to, though. Like, I have this strong feeling that I'm going to be fucking up somewhere. Awesome. I'm gonna give it piano. I'm sure we'll put the sheet music on the stand. The piano began to play it by itself. Experience the third mystery. I got them all. So a lot of you guys might think, you know, how do I know a lot about the music? Well, I used to be, I was in choir for, oh god, how long? I've been in choir for six years. So I know a lot, and just, just shockingly, the reason why I did me, me, re, uh, me, do, re, do, me, is because my teacher used to do that in, um, practice. He'd do that in practice all the time, and I was just doing it for shits and giggles, because that was just a melody I remembered for when I was in choir. And when I found out it was right, <laughs> I kind of giggled, and then... To, uh, I went and looked when I went to the little character dude that was standing in front of the door asking for like sweets I really looked at his name and it there's there's the answer his name is me do re do me and I went crazy because I was like you gotta be shitting me but uh it was actually pure coincidence and then a piano the piano is very simple because you can't play a piano without music sheets, because the music sheets has plays the, um, the, not just the music one, but it also has the notes for the pianist to play. I know things, guys. I know things. So that's why I had a rant about that, because I, I didn't know if you guys watched it and was like, oh, she cheated somehow. No. A lot of these I'm trying to make uncut. Like, all of my videos I'm trying to make uncut, but there are some parts I'll be like, ah, I gotta cut this out. Yusui, aren't you coming too? We're gonna explore the ghost lake. You're such a fad follower, Kachan. It's just a rumor, okay? Same as the school's seven mysteries. Whoa, I found them all. That's not true! They found a body there last year, remember? And last week, they found another. Which means the demon of the ghost lake is making people throw themselves in. That's just a coincidence. 
coincidence. <laughs> it's a pretty deep link, so everybody just picks it off to off themselves. No, that's not it. They say the body they found last week died exactly one year after the one from last year. Which means, one year later, at the same time, the same place, somebody's gonna die again. And both victims were students from the same middle school. For real? It was on the news. You can't call that a coincidence. Yeah, it is a little strange that someone from the same school would die exactly a year later. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I have to think about it. It said elementary. So these elementary kids are talking about this? I highly doubt that's what they would be talking about. I think they would be talking about other things, like toys and shit. Not, hey, did you see the news? No, no, what kid does that? <laughs> Unless they're a smart kid. The ghost lakes want sacrifices. There's gotta be an evil ghost using black magic. We should exterminate it. Alright, I guess it's worth checking out. Feels more like a plot than a ghost, but I'll go. Alright, Tara Huko. Then let's get going. Yusui, come to the station later. You seem like you'd like this stuff. Why don't you just point me out? Ah. Boys are into that kind of thing, huh? It's kind of a scary to think of think people are dying the same day each year. I don't want to get into anything weird, and if it's just kids going, our parents will get mad. See you, Mr. Shiro. You should go home quick and not get involved with that stuff. Yeah, there's another student. Why the fuck are you over there? Alright. Huh? Where did my pen go? Oh, where did my pen get to? Maybe I lost it when we played hide and seek. Oh, we're in a fucking classroom. The shelves contain books to search. Looking closely, there are some library books mixed in, but nothing else out of the ordinary. Search. Looking closely, okay. What about this? A locker filled search. There are a lot of rooms that no one, uh, not much else of a note. There are still people in the- oh! Well I died when I had people in, um, the last one where I talked about six years ago on my birthday. I died in front of my parents. Oh. The classroom seems so large that the- yeah, look at the beat. There's a ball pen, point pen, and the cap under the podium. Yeah, I got it. That's where you hid? That's where you hid? Why would you hide there? Oh, my pen. Where'd you find it, Mr. Shiro? Under a teacher's desk. Oh, okay. I hid it there for hide and seek, so... Anyway, thanks for finding it. I'm gonna go home now. See you tomorrow. Alright, so now I can go kill myself. Eh. The window gives a good view of the familiar town. Jump out. If you jump out, it'll mean- Yeah, jump out. I was waiting for it. I'm sorry. Oh my god, the these noises are so loud in my ear. That's why I'm flinching. I'm not flinching because they freak me out. I'm flinching because the noises are hurting me. Mrs. Shiro came to, again standing before the mirror. Though she still felt a strong pain in her vision blurring, there's there wasn't even a bruise on her. Yes, there were rumors about the ghost lake be back then. That was probably when the mirror lake rumor started. Well, ultimately, after the second death, there was no more incidents involving mirror lake. Elementary school. I seem to recall that was a pretty fun time. Just as Mrs. Shiro regained a piece of her memory, she felt as if she'd lost something important. Actually, well, let me get that and then save. I learned. Mr. Shiro got a gold key. Yay, guys! We got a gold key! This is so beautiful. Alright. Ah, oh, ah. Oh. Alright, there's one gold door here. What door is this? Hold on. Realm of Bl Bathe in it if you wish and go mad. Okay! I like the door with the gold key. Eh. Welcome, Master, to the realm of blood. Let's say here. We'll, we shall guide you to the mirror quickly and without interruption. Are you lying to me? More 
are teddy bears. I'm fucking scared of those teddy bears. Oh, it wasn't lying to me. I wonder why. She has a bad feeling, unlike any before. Is this like an ending? Am I already ending it? I hope not. Two years ago, in middle school. Hey, Yusui, you're late because I had gym. I don't care. Just give me our, just give us our homework. You did do it, didn't you? Why the fuck are you taking that? No! Can't get in the mood for three math worksheets. Thanks, little Yusui. 1,000 yen fee for every wrong answer. You're rich, so that it, that's enough responsibility, eh? Yeah, because her parents aren't going to fucking notice that 1,000 yen is taken out each fucking time she has a wrong answer. What happens if she has 14 out of 35? That's a lot of fucking yen getting distributed. What am I doing? I'm living like a slave to the every whim of these pieces of garbage. Well then fucking don't listen to them. You listening to you, Suey? Always spacing out? That's blank stares, you Suey, alright? Does that class even know you're a student? If you don't stand out some, nobody's gonna notice you. I've been dealing with them for about three months. They're, they've Sorry. They're just letting out stress for the coming exams. They're not going they're not going to a decent high school anyway. That doesn't fucking give them an excuse, I'm sorry. That's the sort of thing I think about as I let it wash over me and endure. With that recent death of my grandpa, a famous artist, uh, the Sui family has been in turmoil over his inheritance. So I can't talk to my parents or stop attending school at home. I can't I care for my family at school for those losers. I feel myself withering, lonely, and doubting. What am I living for? Okay, so I can understand now why she, like, it's a little bit better of an excuse as to why she had killed herself, because she was getting bullied. Like, like I told you guys in the beginning, I didn't like how it seemed that she killed herself one day because she was bored. Now that, like, I see she's actually kind of, you know, getting bullied. Not just from, not just from her, the people at school, but she's also kind of being bullied at home, and not by bully, like, they're consistently calling her names or whatever, they're bullying her by just not giving her enough attention, they're not giving her the, the love she needs, and, it, and it's kind of just, like, weighing down on her, and it's, oh man, I'm the one who's building up loads of stress, not for you, jerks. Say, did you know? I do, contrary to appearance, she really likes really outfits. Uh, huh? For real? Totally like gothic Lolita or stuff. She's gone out like that on her days off. Now that's something so cute, Yusui. You want to be a princess? Don't talk about people's tastes like that, you... Shit face? I don't know. Well, it's about time, Yusui. Show us your cute little clothes, Yusui. Let us snap some pics. Don't rob me of the one thing free of stress. Don't get into my private life outside of school. You listening? Bring out your favorite clothes, Sunday or something. We'll have a fashion show. What do you know, Yusui? Always such a dim, awkward girl. But today you'll be a pr you'll be you'll get to be a pretty, frilly gr princess. Oh, so adorable for her age! Wa ha ha ha! If don't make me any more angry. Hmm. You say something? What, Yusui? You got a complaint? Hey, shut your traps, guys! Yusui wants to say something. Hmm. It off. Not good. I can't tell. My emotions are getting uncontrollable. If I stay silent, they'll get bored eventually. This isn't wise. So please, don't reach for my pocket. Don't grab what's in there. If I grab that, I'll turn the world upside down. What's that? Say it loud and clear, cutie pie, Yusui. Knock it off, you skanks. Ah! Yes, in that moment, Mrs. Shiro Yusui took out a small hidden knife and swung it at the delinquent. It left a trail of red on the girl's hand, six centimeters long. Immediately after that, it's... Who the fuck counts that? 16 centimeters. Okay. Immediately after this incident, a teacher heard a scream and came running. It, was, it wasn't a severe wound, so it didn't affect my school record with such that I couldn't graduate, and the delinquents no longer approached me. In fact, no one in my class did. And when my parents heard of the incident, my mother especially lost it and betrayed, berated me. She began using harsh discipline and control over me in the name of correction. That was this memory. Now just, now just break the mirror. Stab the knife into. No, stab. Is it in? Oh, into. Yeah, it's into my throat. But I can do not. No, not yet. 
but the only way to actually the only way to actually finish is to kill yourself but they're giving me a second option I don't want to choose this I don't want to choose the second option because I feel like if I do that my character would get stuck and I noticed like each each mirror is like a memory and maybe she'd get she'd get stuck if I I went into that character like if I had said no not yet and killed I think I would kill her probably not the other two the other two will probably run or whatever but I probably killed the girl that was bullying me most of the time and I get end up getting stuck in that memory because I can't I I, I altered the universe like I altered how it the events should have been played out so I'm gonna just uh, I'm gonna stick with the story and just go ahead and stab myself because I still have a couple of things left to do so I stab myself Because the only way you, ha in order to continue the game, is to break those fucking mirrors. Mr. Shiro came to again, standing before the mirror. Though she still felt a vigorous feeling in her hands, there was no trace of a knife wound. Yes, in the third term of my second year of middle school, I turned a knife on those delinquents. As a result, all my efforts to calm my parents as they dealt with the inheritance went to waste. I set off a bomb just waiting to burst. My mother became hysterical and strict after that. She desperately tried to train me right, and so I lost a place to belong. Just as Miss Cheryl gained a piece of her memory, she felt as if she'd lost something important. What could you be losing? Like, am I doing- have I been doing something wrong this entire time? If you wish, you may take comfort- The mirror is to your left. I don't- I don't want to rest. No, let's go down. What happened if I had gone the other way? Alright. So, a realm of blood. <laughs> What's this realm? Realm of death. No life can live before a distorted wheel. Unlock the, gold the door with the gold key. Ah. Let's do that. Okay, so does that mean I have to take this helmet? Nope. I'm gonna go straight. There's an unnatural get. Oh, alright. I have to get a book. I mean, it's a bookshelf. Respect your pre predecessors. I have not. There's blood over there. Maybe I go that way. Do I go back this way? No! Oh, fuck, it's a puzzle. Alright, so I got the first two doors right. Maybe I. Maybe I go up? Is that a thing? It is. Now do I go through? Oh, no! It's death! Death! Ah! Okay, don't go through that door. Alright, don't go through that. don't go through that door. That's so weird. Like you have to go through it when it's the blood. Like this one right here, you have to go through it when there's blood. Yeah, okay, go up. Maybe I go this way again. No? Fuck. Alright. Alright. Maybe this way? No. So the only one I can go through is oh oh that's weird. Oh wait. I'm an idiot. All right. Oh. Okay, I see it. You saw how the stairs were all broken in and stuff, and telling you which way to go. It's telling me to go back this way. All right. Oh snap. Okay. 
The sprue with an old air around it has a book with a blue cover inside. Take it. Mr. Shearer found value in the book and really took it. I got a blue book. Alright. Leave. Uh, blue book? Oh! Oh god! <laughs> oh my god, it freaked me out. <laughs> uh, oh my god, alright. Let's try that again. This time I got it, guys. I'm sorry. It scared me. Fuck you, you piece of shit knight. Alright. Sorry, I was very- I had to like, pay attention to what I was doing. Alright. I have a bad feeling. Oh, I had a bad feeling about this. Pull ever. There's a sound nearby. Oh, okay. Hey, there's a note! An old, old book rests on the top of the desk. Take it. By the quick read of the book, it turns out to be a manual on using lamps. Mrs. Shearer got the manual. Mrs. Shear learned how to adjust the wick of her of her lantern and can adjust it intensely with something that makes fire. Adjusting the lantern can be done from the menu. Oh. What is this? Oh, okay. Oh wait, does that many that does that mean there's five endings or something? Do I just all end up all dead? Do I end up dead dead? Alright. You said menu, so go here. The source of light. Oh, that's stupid. Alright. Uh, hey, I just realized something. Doesn't it look like someone's been scratching the fuck out of that. P the floor? Doesn't mean. Alright, let's go here. What type of shit is this? Let's go ahead and follow him. Wait, what is this? On 12-8, the Holy Mother heard a divine message from God. Okay, then. The Holy Mother puts others before herself. Thus, she loved the world and the God the Father. Whoops. Ah, oh, fuck! I fucked up! Ah, oh, fuck! I survived! Okay, so this is 12 8. Mother of God receives a message from God. This one was. Um. The mother. The, the mother puts others before herself and. and God. No. Puts others before herself and loves God or something like that. Poor children the Holy Mother once donated to grew and sent her a bouquet. She was very delighted. The teddy bear stares with round eyes. Cute. What is with these fucking teddy bears? Um, 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 fuck. Shit, this is hard. Please tell me I don't have to remember the dates or whatever. I'm gonna follow him. Probably, because it seems like I need time. Ah, oh, fuck, I was too close.
All right, the Holy Mother was born on 9-5. It was a day, a very joyous day. Okay. On 6-12, the Holy Mother gave alms to poor children. Okay. On 4-28, the Holy Mother rested peacefully, still loving the weak and seeing the beauty in the world. On the mother's on the Holy Mother's birthday, her pet dog died. The Holy Mother grieved and oh fuck. You're a dick. The Holy Mother grieved her. Oh my god, my eye itches like crazy. <sighs> Sorry if I'm yawning, I just woke up. Like I woke up around 8.45 and then I started doing this. Is this 9-5? Okay, so 9-5 was the day her dog died as well as her being born. On 10-20, the king who ruled over the world came to greet the Holy Mother. On the Holy Mother- okay, that was just about her dog, so... The Holy Mother was the most beloved day. I know the joyous day was 9... oh. Nine, no, it was 114. Oh, five. Maybe her most beloved day. I don't think on 1020 the king ruled over the king. Oh, fuck you. Ten eight or twelve eight? Wow, the Holy Mother heard a divine. Maybe that one, because that's divine. Like God is a divine creature or per being, or yeah. You know, so twelve. What was it eight? Fuck, I forgot. I'm really bad at like reading something, and then yeah, it was twelve eight. And then remembering the information that it gave me. That had no numbers. The poor children, the whole. Okay, so no number. I'm five. Number? 612. Maybe that one. was that one? The statue of the Holy Mother faded into darkness as if only an illusion. Well, that was a pretty heavy illusion. Maybe, and then they said source of light. Lovely. Among the dust-covered junk, there's a book of matches. Yes! But Shishiro took the book match book, careful not to collapse the pile. Full of junk. Alright, so here, here. The lantern's light. Strengthen. Nice. <clears throat> Looking closely, there's a ladder uh, descended in. What the fuck is this doing in a fireplace? The grave lock door is locked, but lock or not, it seems unopenable. Mr. Shiro stepped away without bothering. Gate door is locked, but lock or not, it seems unopenable. Done without bothering to try any keys. Hmm. Oh wait, I didn't go through one door. I'm an idiot. I forgot. Hold on. I forgot to go through a door. Oh my god! <laughs> that scared me! <laughs> oh! I didn't go in here! Maybe... Oh my god, 
it's legit that legit scared me. <laughs> Okay, it's not in here. It's over here. <clears throat> I can't remember the date. Six twelve. All right. Okay, lady. I'm supposed to only get the matches. Let's try that. Take them. Alright, let's go. Okay. They fucking save there. Oh, like, <laughs> I'm so freaking out about that. Alright. Here. And I go here. I um. Uh, oh wait, lantern, strengthen, alright. <clears throat> West shall always be a reflection of East. Is that my bedroom? It looks like a clock. Open it. I knew I was gonna die, I just wanted to see what would happen. <clears throat> you don't even know they could have fucking opened the damn door and it could have been a lovely birthday cake. Matches. Oh. I keep forgetting not to hit matches. Strengthen. Alright. 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 Drawers. Base on the table. Bed, it can't be moved. Glass of wine I bought it. Bought. Oh! Oh, 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 god. Okay. So this is the reflection game. Alright, so. Chairs are flipped. Okay, so I'm gonna go close that. This door. Close. Alright. <clears throat> Flip. Wine and then that switch. All right, right. No, wine is towards the box. Did I do that? Yeah, wine towards the box. Um. Okay, so there's still something. Angel like statue. Maybe I am supposed to have those open. Let's go check. Drawers, no. Close. Uh, what about this? Flip. Oh, I did it! Alright. I wish there was a save. Some things cannot be seen when there is a lot when there is light. Maybe okay, so enter. In darkness, stab the sword into the unseen corpse. Okay, so in the darkness. Stab the dying corpse. It was. It's right here. Or was it right here? It was somewhere around right here. Alright. Ah. Go away. <clears throat> the fireplace extends to emptiness. Alright. What is this? Oh. That literally it? Alright. 
in darkness, stab the sword into the unseen corpse. Can I take that? I'm fast and lash and took the sword. Did that lock? Maybe, maybe there's something over here. Take that. All right. In darkness, stab the sword into the. So maybe I have to turn it off completely. equip my lantern then. This is in the darkness. Right? I'm right, right? Oh, well, let's go in here. Descends into emptiness. Wait a minute, there's two statues, so maybe I have to stab them both. Hold on. Oh, wait! Open it. Maybe, maybe those are the only things I can think about in darkness, and there's two of them. Maybe continue. Realm of death. I think, I think I know. I think I know. Oh, I think I know. All right. So, and before I click on it, let me grab my sword here. The shokin. You gotta be shaming. It's right in front of you. You have to do that, and then that. Or maybe... Or... Uh, go here, and then... Yes. Nothing seemed to happen. Let me do it one more time. Yeah. I'm supposed to only weaken my light. Hmm. 
completion, right? And now, items. Yes. There we go, God, Mr. Shear heard something move nearby. It's too dark, alright. The statues had to have moved. No. Oh. Descend. All right. Fucking finally, I did it. All right. Save. A mirror? Yes. Look in. One day ago, a road. Oh. You really don't have to see me off. It can't hurt to be safe at night, right? My house isn't too far from here either. Then again, since you are black all over, maybe Shane won't even notice you, Mrs. Shiro. Hey, why are you so nice? Huh? I've already served as a model for your sister. There's no n further need to care about me, is there? I mean, I certainly want, depending on our friendship solely, to get you to model for me. Then what do you want out of me? No need to hide it. You've done a lot for me, Ayoto. Hold on. What's with what's this all of a sudden? I don't want anything in par particular out of you. That can't be right. It doesn't make sense. There can't be any reason why you would approach me without any motive. Personally, I don't calculate motives or pros and cons when I'm making friends with people. Do you, Mrs. Shiro? Didn't I tell you? To me, interacting with others means getting warnings from my mom and teachers. I did hear you were in such a situation. Then you have you already forgotten what it means for people to interact without a reason? My mom does it to preserve my family's name. My teachers do it to fulfill their job of teaching. So what is it to you, Ayoto? I don't understand it. You're overthinking it, Mrs. Shiro. I don't... I don't meet with you and talk with you for a reason. I guess, strictly speaking, it's just whether we find talking to each other pleasant or not. That's it. I heard your mom has been disciplining you harshly ever since a few years ago, and that your high school is a very strict all-girls school. But that's irrelevant. Whatever your situation, there's no inherent meeting and people mingling. I first spoke to you because you resembled my sister, but keeping in touch with you hasn't been for any purpose. And that's fine. It's how... It's how things are, so listen up, okay? Besides, you like having someone to talk to, right? I think of you as a good friend, at least. I'd be shocked if you didn't think of that about me. I, I didn't mean to say. <laughs> Just kidding. Really, though, enough about that overly logical thinking. Or else my me meager dream of seeing you smile might never come to pass. Alright, let's go. Um, hmm. But then, Mr. Sure, watch out. Does he push me? Stop it, that's enough! He- What happened? <laughs> no! <coughs> he, she killed herself. Because he died? <clears throat> Just stop it. Ayota protecting her from the reckless driver headed toward her and becoming a bloody lump of meat. Mishishiro Yushui's heart dying in that instant, a loss, and her loss of hope from losing Ayota carrying her to Mirror Lake, in which she threw herself in despair. All these things Mishishiro remembered. He, he protected. Oh no, my ship has fallen. <laughs> Just as Mrs. Shiro regained a piece of her memory, she felt as if she lost something important. A Yodo. I bet you it's a Yodo she's losing. Alright. Let's hunt out home. Alright, let's head on out of here. It's freaking me out. Alright, where else am I supposed to go? Because that was all the doors. Now that she's broken all the mirrors, perhaps Ms. Shishiro can op open it.
That's a Yoda. Huh? Hey. <laughs> What's up? I'm dead and all. Yoda, why are you here? Because this soul is necessary for granting your wish. Hello, me. So you successfully broke all the mirrors. You wish will soon come true, and this world's purpose will be concluded. What do you mean? This mirror's world revolves around you, Mrs. Shiro. You hold dominion over it. Once, a, decided girl, a deceased girl wished at Mirror Lake. I wish my life had never even existed. It was a very strong wish, and to fulfill it, this mirror world was created. It was made solely to realize her wish. The other souls were just extras drawn into it. She could have granted her wish in this world she made, but she had, wasn't able to fulfill it, because she broke before she could. Just as she created this world, she lost everything, including her memories and words. <clears throat> Sorry, my throat's hurting. So not knowing her purpose or who she was, she wanted this world and fell apart. That's in the past now, a concluded tale. Unable to achieve its goal, this world went on existing, sucking on souls who died near the lake with strong wishes. Several years later, a girl threw herself into the lake amazingly. She had the same wish as the world's creator, so that this world could complete its duty and choose a new soul to control it. And so, the game you carried the same wish. You became the new ruler. I don't like that. <laughs> you supreme the originator. The wish the world sought to grant stayed the same. Only the person in the center of it was replaced. I was made the ruler of this world? The extra riffraff who felt jealousy toward you still see the broken originator as the rightful ruler. And maybe, broken though she may be, she personally forgot it. she's personally gotten in all of your way at times. The remnants of the form of mirrors containing your past. <clears throat> Having recorded all your actions, I can assess to that. Attend to that. But it's not just over yet. This boy's soul is absolutely absolutely necessary for total erasure, erasure of your life, because he's simply too significant to you. Without eradicating his soul, your life can be nullified. So it was none other than you who unconsciously bound his soul to this world, such that you could kill him by your own hand. You aren't telling me I ha you aren't telling me I have to kill a Yoda. <clears throat> What's the problem? You may feel guilty for a second, but right after that, you'll have never existed. Mr. Shiro, you're still suffering, huh? If you kill me, you'll be free from your pain. Right after death. Right after my death, your conflict will end. It's your word. It's your world. You can make the choice. I'll grant my wish. I'll kill- No, I'll grant my wish. There's no choice to make. I threw myself in to put an end to it all. And yet, I wound up in this world, learning all these unnecessary things led astray. I'm just tired. Enough of this. I've worked hard enough, so just grant my wishes already. The moment the knife and I I try not. I didn't want to kill him. It says stab. It says stab Iota or stab or or whatever or grant my wishes. The moment the knife in Mr. Shiro's hand pierced Iota, Mr. Shiro lost consciousness. With no time to feel satisfaction nor regret for what she'd done, Mr. Shiro Yusui eventually vanished from existence. Not just silence, not just stillness, but void. There, Mr. Shiro Yusui was peaceful, free from everything, internally sleeping in the cradle of nothingness. And her dream was surely a hollow white ending for fulfilled. Her wish was granted. She was surely happy. I'm gonna do the other one. I didn't want him to die. Maybe. Okay, so you guys remember that door that was in um <clears throat> in that one room down here in the bronzed area? There was a locked door. Unlock the door. Hey. Maybe I have to find that one room. I have to find that one room. Uh, items. Put here for a second. Matches. No. Lantern. No, fuck. <laughs> Alright. Yeah. Top left on the right bottom. 
top left on the right bot on the right bottom left on the left top all right so top top right so this one top right bottom left I think I fucked up that's not it well hold on let's go back to that thingy real quickly let's read it again top left on the right Bottom left. <clears throat> oh, top left on the right side. So, like, over here is the right side. So, it's talking about the top left. And then bottom left on the. Okay, so and now I'm gonna. So, top. Let's keep it like this because I gotta come back to this. Top left on the right. So, top. Top left. So, this one. And bottom, bottom left on the left. I did it. All right, sweet. There was another mirror. The mirror shows nothing. Maybe some requirement needs to be met. Uh oh, maybe maybe. Okay, so now I let's strengthen this because I remember. Alright, sweet. Sweet, 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 sweet. Um, there's gotta be, there's gotta be something. Maybe, okay, let's try the opposite first. Be something. Okay, so I know it said top left this way, right? And then this one. Requirement needs to be met. Requirement needs to be met. I don't, I don't know what that requirement is. Maybe it's gotta be somewhere on here. So lantern, weekend, maybe there's something around here that will tell me. Okay, so other than that. All right, so other than that, on how to get there, Maybe, okay, so I, alright, let's get out of here, hold on. Let's see it real quickly, right? There's gotta be another door somewhere that I have to get to. Maybe, maybe it's in, fuck you, Smiley, maybe it's in the other bronze door. But so far, it looks like all the doors that I need are in the bronze door. Ah, fuck. Get out of here. Maybe there's something in here that I just missed. Oh. No, it's not this one. It might have been that way, because I haven't been in fully over here. Yeah. Fuck it! The mirror shows you Yuzui's reflection. It doesn't seem to change as much as Mashira looks. The mirror shows Yuzui's reflection. It doesn't seem to change as much as Mashira looks. <clears throat> Maybe I go tell her where it is. Hold on. Maybe that last mirror is his mirror. 
Huh? You saw one of my mirrors? Whoa, Mr. Chair, what a discovery. Lead me to there right away. If we're together, even even those realms would scare me. When you enter the realm with the mirror, Yuzumi will automatically fuck it. <clears throat> and I think I know where that last guy's mirror is. Alright, so... That didn't fucking scare me. Alright, save now. Alright, sweet. The mirror shows Yuzui's reflection. You're right, it's me! I I'm getting nervous all of a sudden, but they're these are my memories. I need to remember them. Stare. Alright. Eight years ago. She's probably the second person that jumped in. Or she was either the first or second- Yeah, she was either the first or second person that jumped in. Sigh. During break time, I, Izui Hana Hanasaki, sat down in the my seat inside. Thirteen years old are seen as Adasius? I can't know. I've never seen that word before. Please don't hate me. But they still have troubles and internal conflict. Hanasaki. Eh? Oh, what? The day duty diary. It's your turn to get today, so the teacher. Aha! Uh -huh, that's right. Thank you very much, you stro. It would have I don't know. Mm, well, that's all. Ah. Uh, once again, we couldn't keep talking, though I longed to talk with her more. I, Yuzu, Yuzu Hanasaki, was captured by Yuzu Shuro. She was so unlike the other students. A girl of few words with a mysterious air, long eyelashes, always looking tired. And her skin and hair were as white as snow. It was apparently a kind of albinosum. Uh, albinosum? At first, I thought she, I just wanted to be her friend, but quickly realized I wasn't that. Even if it was just puppy love, I was certainly in love with her. It is strange, isn't it? But I was troubled. I loved her, but at the same time, I hesitated at the idea of loving a girl. I, I, I at least, want to be more friendly with her, if not as a lover, then a good friend. <coughs> it's not broken. Aha, uh -huh, I remembered. Yes, that's right. These, those are my memories from the age 13, alright. You, you saw them too. Huh, Mr. Shiro, I'm embarrassed. It's a free country. The things? Won't, won't you break the mirror? Huh? Break it? Why? Sure. I wouldn't want anybody to see it, but I don't need, but I need to be with them so I look inside. So it's probably fine not to break it. Anyway, Mr. Shiro, thanks. Because of you, I finally remember something else about myself. Now let's return. Tell I me mean, every, if everything else comes up. There was a way to not break the fucking mirror? Uh, oh, so I'm gonna bring- No. Alright, so that one guy. I bet you it's- No. No, 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 it's not in here. Whoops. Alright. Forgot. Alright, so- No, it's in here. Fuck, where was it? I forgot. No, it wasn't. I was fucking right. Go back in there. Eh. Alright, sweet. Alright, top left on the right. Well, alright, so... Okay, so I gotta bring her there too. Alright, good thing I already know how to get there and stuff. Why am I helping her, but not the other guy? Okay. Leave me right there away if we're- okay. Let's go.
The mirror shows Yuzu's reflection. Okay, then I'm getting used to these now. The mirror's got my past, my memories. You know, I'm thinking surely they show memories with something to do with my wish. It looks, if looking in the mirrors might tell me my wish, I'm, exci I'm excited, but a little scared at the same time. Seven years ago, Mirror Lake. Hmm. Ooh, that's pretty. Pretty sunset, huh, Yudasuro? Sunset is a watching hour. This moment's beauty comes from it being the sun when the sun dies. Even though we see this tw sun for 12 hours a day, we always forget its beauty. Hmm, I guess, but I like the sun in the day too. You're positive about everything, Yuzu. It's been a year to getting to know you, you so. I still don't haven't been able to tell her how I feel, but we're together as best friends a bunch. Of course, I'd still like her romantically, but just spending time together period is nice. Twilight is a vicious thing. It's neither a day nor night, and people spend it preparing for the coming night. It's kind of weird because it looks like I'm looking at an albino version of myself. Twilight isn't watched and enjoyed. It's just empty and hollow, much like my name. And the sunset making you sentimental, I think you just stroke. Uh, Yichiro's a great name. Great name, I hate it. To be called hollow? It feels more like a denial of my existence. Hmm. But I like how it feels all translucent. It matches your mysterious air, too. Is that right? You know, Yuzu, I'm a person who doesn't shouldn't exist in this world, huh? What's this now? Just the fact I'm alive is m mistaken. My existence is a clutter of sin. You mean, like, original sin? Did you ever tell me you were a Christian, Yichiro? I don't mean anything like that. It's a more concrete way. I shouldn't exist. I don't get what you're saying, y Yitsuro. I mean, isn't shouldn't exist really extreme? We get along so well. If you don't exist, what would I do? If, hypothetically, I were to die soon, then you should forget about me. I could I could only blankly listen to Yitsuro, whose words felt so disconnected from reality. Yitsuro was the first person to die of it. It was as if Yitsuro saw something different, and I couldn't perceive perceive things the same way. I bet you Yitsuro died first, and then she, a year later, still in denial and grief probably, went and jumped in after her. Yeah, I remember. Even as they get closer to her, Yitsuro was a strange girl, though that was charming in a way. <clears throat> Most of my memories at Yitsuro are back now, and now I know these are important memories to me. I still can't remember up to my death, but it seems I've remembered some things precious to Yuzu. This, and it's thanks to you, Mr. Shiro. Really, thanks a lot. Oh, I know. Take this. I got a mysterious key. I picked that up earlier, but I don't know how to use it. I make sure it'll be useful to you somewhere. Okay, let's return. Tell, tell me if there's anything else. Oh. Maybe... Alright, let me say that. Maybe... Just... Is it this room? This maybe... Oh, it's not this one. Just, just maybe... Nope, not here. Either. Shit, where was it? <clears throat> oh, here. Duh. I want a better ending, damn it. Yes. Another fucking teddy bear. The teddy bear stares with round eyes. Cute. Alright. Okay, I got I got another one. I got another one for you, dude. I'm sorry, this is like the longest episode ever, but holy shit, I didn't think I, I actually had to look for their mirrors. I wonder if I managed to confess to Yitsuro in the end. Probably not, huh? From my experience, it seems like I died in middle school. Oh, you did die in middle school. 
If yeah, that's right. They told me that. Duh. If my wish is something like that, then haunting the living probably won't work. No, I found another fucking mirror that belongs to you. Maybe I have to fucking click it. Oh man, I have to go all the way. I'll I'll cut this part out so you guys won't have to sit there and struggle watching me go all the way back and then all the, just back and forth pretty much. Yep, just then. Alright. Alright. Oh, look at this. Heels, alright. The mirror shows you see? Okay. mirrors. This makes three. Feels like the finale. <laughs> Lay me right there right away. If we're together, even those rounds won't scare me. Alright. Let's go. <laughs> Sorry. Alright. Down here. Yeah. Wee, wee, wee. Save. The mirror shows Yuzu's reflection. Seems a little different from the others, like the atmosphere in the area. I never f would have found this place myself, even after literal years. Look, let's cut the chatter. I'm just too worked, worked up. Let's go for it. <clears throat> Like six years ago. What is this? If hypothetically I were to die soon, then you should forget about me. A few days ago, the body of Yutsuro Hinohara was found in Miri Lake. Why? Why did Yutsuro? No, it hasn't been enough. We didn't spend enough time together. Has Hanax? Hanasaki seemed gloomier lately? I mean, she got along with Hinohara, so I can understand her being depressed, but it's not that kind of gloominess. It's like, the local library isn't enough. These don't have books on this stuff. I need... Sinansis? No romance It's all lacks credibility. I don't want this fake occult nonsense. Yuzu, have you been going to class? If I open that gate this way, today marks a year to the day. Wait for me, Yutsuro. I've been studying up this past year, and now I'm going to meet you. Yeah, I was right. She did kill herself to go see her. I, I remember it all. How I died, my wish, and everything else. Okay, I feel like I'm gonna run soon. Of course there's no such thing as black magic. I must have been... On the brink, huh? Phew! I'm I'm kind of exhausted getting all these memories dumped on me. Once I res once I've sorted things out some more, I'll tell you my history and, mi and wish, Mrs. Shiro. Oh, are you going to go up ahead? Take me with you if you do. I feel like there's there's something very important to this world up ahead. Okay, let me fucking save again. All right, let's go. Open the large door? Yeah. Open it. Alright. Who the fuck? Someone's there. You're! Once there was a painter. He was known as the mad genius. Renzo Yusui. Huh? You you know my grandpa? Wait, Mr. Shira. It looks like maybe she isn't aware of us. Renzo had a wife. But he also had a relationship with a servant. With his wife, he had a child, Sinji. With a servant, he had a child, Tamaki. Renzo's two children, born of different mothers. Huh? Oh! Tamaki was the Ill illegitimate child of, the, of an affair, but because Sinji showed no interest in art, 
Renzo's affection was often directed at Tamaki, who did have an interest in the arts. Tamaki learned art from Renzo, and given a deep love, grew in the shadow of the Yusui family. But these irregular days couldn't last. When Tamaki turned 12, Renzo's wife learned of her existence. Renzo divorced his wife, but gave Tamaki and her mother the same love as ever. Thus far, no tragedy had occurred. When Tamaki turned 18, Renzo made an unforgivable mistake. He had an Elysian with Tamaki and her own daughter, and impregnated her. Oh god! Tamaki was deeply wounded and feared Renzo, and her, with her mother, she fled from him. But the child she bore had done no wrong, so she decided to birth the child of her father. So Tamaki had a daughter. A daughter between parent and child. Tamaki thought she wouldn't, she couldn't live a normal, happy life. But luckily, two years later, she had a proper marriage. Safely having a son with her husband, Tamaki began to get back on her feet. However, she ne never fully did. The mental wounds Tamaki had suffered went even deeper than she imagined. When her now grown daughter with Rinzu began doing art at school, Tamaki's old wounds ached. It gave her flashbacks of Rinzu of that fear she had of him. Tamaki struggled to give her daughter affection. It took all she had not to take out negative emotions on her. Tamaki's mind quickly crumbled under the weight, and one day Tamaki killed her daughter. Tamaki fell to pieces. She came to feel animosity not only for toward Rinzu, but also the Yusui's. Unable to see any hope ahead, she fell upon the despair behind. Renzu died of natural causes a few years later, and while she had the right to his inheritance, she refused to take it. She wouldn't even let, go, let it go to the eldest son, Shinji. Then at last, Tamaki, who had been kept living despite having broken long ago, met her end. When she learned the son she had with her husband was becoming friends with Shinji's daughter. You mean, Tamaki tried to take out Shinji's daughter, the Yusui who dared come near, near her pure son, but when she drove madly down the road to kill her, she ran over her own son by mistake. Tamaki realized that this was the end, so she took her own life to escape the despair. No wait, that's so messed up! That woman's soul is now bound here. Unlike the other souls, the world is forcing her to be here. Tamaki's soul is now bound to death, so that she can't escape, but must face the facts. This is surely my punishment. I've gone on for a while. I can't see or hear you. But I know you're here. I don't know who you are, but go now. Let's go, Mr. Cheryl. We shouldn't stay any longer. Oh, oh, that's so sad. Should we return to the usual place with Tamaki's story? I realized something. Are you gonna just point me there, please? Yeah, thank God. All right, listen to, it. yeah. Okay, let's get started. <clears throat> First, Mr. Shiro, I think you could open this big door here. You opened this. You opened a similar do door earlier, right? I bet you can open this one too if you try to. So before that, listen to me. Ah, who, who's this? Get get out. Stop, don't mendle anymore. Give back my world. Watch out. Yuzi, why? Yuzu. This works just fine. You listen to this too. I'm Yuzu Hanasaki, a middle schooler who committed suicide at 15 at Mirror Lake. The reason I killed myself was to put it bluntly to meet a girl I loved. Someone had killed me her at Mirror Lake and made me extremely sad. So I read all of these books on black magic and killed myself to go to the afterlife, to die at the same place exactly a year later. I said that would work. It, is that wound okay? Don't worry about me. It doesn't really matter now. Huh? I think it's a different afterlife than what the book meant, but ultimately, I came to this world. But it seems this there was something to be gained here. That girl, she always said she was someone who shouldn't have existed. I always found it weird and wondered why it was, but I found it out now. She was born between a girl and her own father. 
between Tamaki Hinohara and Rinzo Hitsui. Her very birth was taboo. Isn't that right, Itsuro? Ugh, you, Zu, uh, leave this world. Can she not talk like she wants to? She doesn't need to. I know, because I've always known Itsuro. Thank you, Mr. Shiro. Because of you, I can get back my memories and my wish. And I learned about Itsuro's birth and death. My wish was to meet Itsuro one more time. It co it's come true, finally. Your body, Yuzu. I've done what I needed to do in this world, so I'm satisfied. It feels like it's taken so long, but Yuzuru was here before I was. I don't know what kind of wish you had, Yuzuru, but considering your birth and death, I'm sure it's not something simple. I hope it comes true, and I'm glad that even if you'd like that now, you can still recognize me. I, um, sorry for digging into your past. Ah, she's been here for much longer than us and finally got her wish granted and must be satisfied, I guess, her wish. And my wish. Wait, 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 Yuzuru, was it? Is she a soul like us, I wonder? Somehow, I got, I get the feeling she has a close connection to this world. Maybe the answer is behind this door. Oh, he's in here. Okay. Huh? Hey, Ayoto. Why are you here? Because the soul is necessary for granting your wish. Okay. Tell me, so you successfully broke up the mirrors, your wish will come true, and this world's purpose will be concluded. What do you mean? This mirror world revolves around you, Miss Shiro. You hold dominion over it. Once a deceased girl wished at Mirror Lake, I wish my life had never existed. It was such a very strong wish, and to fulfill it, this world must, was created. It was solely to realize her wish. The other souls were just extras drawn into it. So... Uh, she should have granted her wish in this world she made, but she wasn't able to fulfill it because she broke before she could. Just as she created this world, she lost everything, including her memories and her wish. She, not knowing her purpose or who she was, she wanted this world to fall apart. This is the past now, a concluded tale. Unable to achieve its goal, the world went on existing, sucking in souls who died near the lake with strong wishes. Was it that girl? Yitsuro Hinarahara. Yes, she wonders this world even now. It seems seeing Yuzu elected, Ill elicated some change, but still a long way off from regaining her memories. Yutsuro Hinohara, sister. Several years later, a girl threw herself in the later lake. Amazingly, she had the same wish as the world's creator, so this, so that this world could complete its duty. It chose a new soul to control it. And so since you carry the same wish, you became the new ruler, up usuring the originator. The wish the world sought to grant stayed the same, only the person in the center of it was replaced. I wish made the ruler of this world. Okay, the extra riffraff who felt jealousy toward you still see the broken originator as the rightful ruler. It may be broken, though she may be seen. May, she may be. She's personally gotten in your way at times. Even so, she, you successfully broke all the mirrors without even wasting weeks or months being lost. You shattered and erased all remnants of you in the form of mirrors containing your past. Having recorded, recorded all your actions, I can assist in that. But it's not over yet. This voice will... Alright. This world world, you can make... I've looked back at my past and erased it, but it really is. I won't grant my wish. There we go. I won't do it. I can't. I can't do it anymore. For every mirror I broke, I'll vanish from the lives of the people I knew, and I'll only vanish from Ayoto's world. But then, what did Ayoto die for? What did Tamaki step on the ele accelerator for? If it were just me, then fine. But to control the feelings of the people around me, I have no- Jesus fucking Christ, this music. I have no right. That's not my wish anymore. Are you really sure about that? Whatever you think, whatever you know, it won't actually change anything. Are you still giving up your wish? I am. I see. I, the mirror world, accept abandoning the witch. Its reasoning for being ends here, huh? This world can vanish with the ruler's wish is granted, or they abandon it with clear intent. It won't be left up in the air like it had been. So, will everyone even here advantage? Except for you, Mr. Shiro. To get straight to the point, you're not dead yet. Your soul has left your body, of course, but your body isn't actually dead. You drowned yourself, but as it happens, a passerby found you. 
They called it in right away, and though unconscious, you were saved. It was a failed attempt. Mushishiro, when your soul leaves here, it will be forced back into your body. But what you've done in this world won't be written off. The memories you erase by breaking the mirrors won't come back to you when you return to life. You didn't actually carry out your wish, so the actual past isn't gone, but your memories are what they are. Maybe you'll remember talking with me a bit, but things like meeting me at the lake. Are you still prepared to leave this place? Can you live in a world you've given up on living in once before? I'll live, because I'm not dead yet. I don't want to just throw away the life you protect protected, Iota. And by discarding the wish I inherited from Yutsuro, I think it'll honor Yuzu's feelings. I see. That's really thin. I absolutely can't understand my sister's wish, but you've made the choice for her. It might sound sort of trite, but I want you to live my sister's share. I want you to prove that giving up with that wish was the right thing to do. I'll try my best. Don't worry about me. I want my life to never, to have never existed. Whatever the reason for it, it's not a happy wish. And you realize it. That's a big deal, I mean it. You've got back on your feet instead of falling into darkness. Somehow, it, well, it makes me happier than anything. Well, I'm gonna retire ahead of you. Gonna see, go see what things like in heaven. I'm sure you'll go there, Ryotaro. <laughs> Jeez, seven years and it ends like this? As long as the ruler is satisfied, I suppose. Will Yutsuro go to heaven too? Not sure if about heaven or hell, but she'll be free from this world to go where she goes. That's good. I say ruler, but you're more of an upsur- 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 technically. I'm a little scared about how much I'll forget, but I won't lose my time in this world. And I won't ever wish to erase the events to come. It's time to go. I got goosebumps from this game. This game is really good. After that, I regained consciousness in a hospital bed. Apparently, I really have been saved, and my soul returned safely from the mirror world. There was a woman I didn't know beside me. Mr. Shiro, you're awake. Who are you? My brain had suffered memory loss, and I could no longer remember many past events. I couldn't remember my supposed mother at all. All I had left was a faint unease toward my mother. Oh, as well as the desperate expression made by the woman I woke up beside when she heard that. I remembered Ayoto was someone important to me, but I had no concrete memories of him. But I distinctly remember talking to the mirror world and felt considerably warmth from that alone. I clearly remembered Yuzu and Rayo Taro too. I probably only met them in the mirror world. Mr. Shiro Yusui, is it? Hello, I am Sichi Hanahara. A few days after I left the hospital, a man came to visit me. His last name sounded familiar. Could you be Ayoto's? Yes, thank you for getting along with Ayoto. Sinji Hinohara was Ayoto's father, which meant he was the one who married Tamaki, and he was the father who Yitsuro grew up with. Don't worry too much about your mother. When the woman calling herself my mother leaned, I had learned I had no memory of her. She vanished. I lacked any real sense of her being my mother, so it meant relatively little to me. It'd be a long story, but I had a wife and two children. But, but, but now, none of them are left. They'll all pass away. And you're alone again, also. Do you know where we're, you're going to live now? No. Paying tuition seems impossible, so I think I'll have to drop out and work. I see. Mr. Shiro, would you let me adopt you? Huh? We're both tired souls who've lost everything. You got along with Ayoto, so we're not total strangers. And you remember me of my you remind me of my daughter a bit, but maybe that's just wishful thinking. Won't you give it some thought? And so I began a new life as Mr. Shiro Hinohara. I'm taking new steps in the same house where Ayoto and the youth Sarov once I lived. Once lived. It was a strange kind of chance, but Suchi's a very gentle person. He's taking a part again, and he's been teaching me between studies. Dreaming of seeing the world the way Ayoto did, catching up to the days I've lost, once more I let my brush run free.
flame dream. Oh, that was such a better ending. Oh. Yay. Oh, I have so... I'm so happy now that I, I went back and I did, I did not like that specific ending. This one, this specific ending though, this was the perfect ending in my opinion. And I'm so happy I went back because if I did it, then I would have, well, one, I would have killed off Aota's soul and I would have still been stuck in the mirror world. But after I went back and did, I'm assuming the doors that were, that I had to do, I ended up finding out that it was Yuzu's doors that I had, went on me, not doors, mirrors that I had to fix. Aw, oh, man. If you liked this video, go ahead and leave the like button for me. I worked so hard on these episodes and I'm sorry, I'm still reminiscing on what's going on. But um, if you have a comment for me, go ahead and leave it in the comment section below and I'll make sure to read it. I enjoy reading all of you guys' lovely comments. And as always, stay prehistoric, my beauties. I'll see you in the next video. Bye! Oh, my God.